I would like to relate about three different experiences, if you will, that relate to UFOs. As a young lieutenant over in Germany, Ramstein Air Base, Germany, back in the early 60s, I was in charge of the cryptographic center. I had a top secret crypto clearance at that time. And I can clearly recall seeing a message that went through my crypto center which said that a UFO had crashed on the island of Spitsberg in Norway and the team of scientists were coming to investigate it. Going forward to the 1967 time frame, I was assigned to the 28th Air Division at Great Falls, Montana, and I was the officer in charge of the communications center there. Also, I was a top secret control officer for the division. I uh, had a crypto account, I was an account custodian, and I also passed out nuclear launch authenticators. During that time, I can recall seeing a message come through that communication center which said, basically what Bob was just got through talking about, is that a UFO was seen near the missile silos and the missiles were deactivated. Coincidentally, my first, the person that Boeing sent to investigate the particular missile conditions, if you will, what made them shut down, was my first manager at Boeing, Mr. Bob Kaminsky, who has since passed away. And I can recall him on different occasions. He lived close to me in Auburn, Washington. That's where I'm from. And he said, Arnie, he says, those missiles were perfectly clean. That was the result. So then one last incident concerned when I was in the as a commander of the unit in uh, Great Falls, or in the Caswell Air Force Station, Maine, I had contacts with the security police at Lauren Air Force Base, and they told about UFOs that were seen near the uh, nuclear weapon storage areas on Lauren Air Force Base. And I'd be glad to testify to Congress that this is absolutely the truth. Thank you.